Okay, um, I just pulled this off of the wrench worksheet. This is letter A. We're going to go through it really quick, or maybe not quick, maybe slow. Um, but what I look at on this problem is right off the bat I can see that negative 2 thirds is being multiplied by the entire 7x minus 2. So my gut instinct, I guess, would be to distribute. But I, then I'm going to have all of these fractions to deal with, and nobody likes fractions. So the other thing we could do is, since it's being multiplied by this whole thing, is we can multiply both sides of the inequality by the reciprocal right off the bat and do away with that fraction. And so that's, uh-oh, where did it go? And so that's what I want to do. So I need to multiply over here by the negative 3 halves as well. And remember, the golden rule of inequalities. Right off the bat, I've multiplied both sides by a negative number. So I'm going to go ahead and flip my symbol. And now we can simplify. 3 times 6 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So I've got negative 9 is less than 7x minus 2. And now we're back to um, a basic inequality. We can even think of it as an equation. You can do circles and squares. I need to get rid of the negative 2. So to get rid of it, I would add 2. Well, if you're doing circles and squares, I can see that negative 9 and negative 2 are like terms, so I need to get them together. So I have negative 7 is less than 7x. Now my goal is to get x by itself, so I've got to get rid of that 7. I divide by both sides by 7. I get negative 1 is less than x. Now, we like our variable to be listed first. We've got the variable, then the symbol, then the constant. Remember, if I flip-flop the order, I've got to flip-flop the inequality symbol. So here it was saying negative 1 is less than x, and this is still negative 1 is less than x, but I just reordered it to say x is greater than negative 1. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so now looking at this one, we've got negative 2 sevenths times the whole 1 minus 4x. Then I've got this extra plus 8 out here. So since the negative 2 sevenths isn't being times by this positive 8 out here, I've got to get rid of that positive 8 first. So I'm just going to go ahead and subtract it from both sides. So now I have negative 2 sevenths times 1 minus 4x is greater than 10. Okay, now we've got negative 2 sevenths times this whole thing is greater than 10. So what we can do to, is get rid of that fraction right off the bat. And we can do that, we know, by multiplying by the reciprocal. So on this side, it's gone. And I've multiplied both sides by a negative, so I'm back to that golden rule of inequalities. I've got to go ahead and flip my symbol. And I'm just left with 1 minus 4x over here. Now on this side, a um, couple ways I can look at this. I can go ahead and divide the 10 by 2 and get 5, then 5 times negative 7 is negative 35. Or you can do 10 times 7 and get negative 70 divided by 2 is negative 35. Get the same thing, just two different ways of doing it. So now I want to get rid of this 1. Minus 1 from both sides. So I've got negative 4x is less than negative 36. Okay, I'm going to divide both sides by the negative 4. I'm dividing by both sides by a negative number, so I've got to flip that symbol again. And I've got x is greater than 9. That looks like a weird 9, but there it is. x is greater than 9. Okay, let's try one more. Okay, so I want to look at letter H. Um, first of all, it's the same type of thing. Negative 1 third times the 5x minus 9. And then I've got this pesky plus 4 here that the 1 -third's not being times by is less than negative 2. So we've got to get rid of this pesky little plus 4 first. So how would I do that? Well, I know to subtract 4 from both sides to get rid of it. So it's gone. Negative 1 -third times 5x minus 9 is less than negative 6. Okay, so now we can multiply by the reciprocal to get rid of this fraction. And once again, you could distribute that fraction, but then you've just got more fractions to deal with. So I want to get rid of it right off the bat by multiplying by the reciprocal. So negative 3 over 1. So now it's gone. I multiply both sides by a negative, so I've got to flip my symbol. I've got 5x minus 9 is greater than, and negative times a negative makes this a positive 18 over here. Now if I add 9 to both sides, I've got 5x is greater than 18 plus 9, which would be 27. 
divide both sides by 5, and x is greater than 27 over 5, and that is my answer. I hope this helped clear up any problems you had. Um, if you are still having a little bit of difficulty and you want to see a few more examples, you can um, shoot me an email and I will try to work out a few more.